I've figured out how to commit the perfect double murder. You pick one person up by the ankles and beat the other person to death with him. They both die, and there's no murder weapon. Peg Leg Bates' wife is one person who never had to wait for the other shoe to drop. Did you ever have a hatchet go right through your face? Not a glancing blow, but a full-on shot deep into your forehead, huh? Deep enough so you can shake your head and the hatchet doesn't fall out? It's the strangest feeling. Because just after the hatchet goes in, and before there's any pain, you can feel a gentle puff of cool air on your brain. It feels good. But since it's the only way to get that feeling, I try not to get too hung up on it. When did they pass a law that says the people who make my sandwich have to be wearing gloves? I'm not comfortable with this at all. I don't want glove residue all over my food. It's not sanitary. Who knows where these gloves have been? Let's get back to human hands making sandwiches for human beings. As you swim the river of life, do the breaststroke. It helps to clear the turds from your path. Have you ever tried to throw away an old wastebasket? You can't do it. People keep bringing it back. Here, Howie, I found your wastebasket in the garbage. Apparently, you have to completely destroy a wastebasket in order to convince people you really don't want it anymore. In Los Angeles, there's a hotline for people in denial. So far, no one has called. Just once, I'd like to see a high-speed funeral procession. A hearse, some flower cars, and a bunch of limousines tearing ass through town at 70 miles an hour on their way to the cemetery. Maybe someday a race car driver will put that in his will. You know a business that doesn't lend itself too easily to the Internet? Pay toilets. Here's something I consider a crime against society. Women with hyphenated names. Hey, lady. Pick a fucking name, will ya? Hi, I'm Emily Jarakor Fortescue. Hi, I'm George Jerk Me Off Fuck You Too. Attention women, you don't attain self-esteem or personal dignity by adding a name to your name. Modern feminists apparently think that hyphenation is some kind of radical act. It's not. Castrating a man in a parking lot with a Coke bottle is a radical act. Hyphenating your name is pretentious middle-class bullshit. No one ever knows what's next, but they always do it. You know what they don't have? A really good French football player. You never hear about some guy named Pierre Ledoux smashing through the line of scrimmage and picking up a first down. Why is that? 